Right, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to another edition of Thai Talk with Dan, the channel where we share about all of your crazy Thailand stories that involve you guys dating Thai women, having a Thai woman as a girlfriend or a wife. This channel is designed to try to share with people what can go on when you decide to get involved here in Thailand with a Thai woman in hope that you guys don't make the same mistakes as millions, and I mean millions, of others. Now recently on the channel, we actually shared um, a Thai woman's story to give her perspective about dating foreigners. And today we have something different again. We've got a woman who is currently based in Pattaya from the West, from England, who's been living in Pattaya now for six years. And she wants to share her story about dating men over here in Thailand. So let's find out her perspective, what's gone on in her six years dating in a place like Pattaya with Thai men. So let's begin. Dear Dan, I am a woman from England and I have lived in Pattaya for six years. I have a great job and I think that I am okay looking and I am 43 years of age. I would like to share my Thailand story without any disrespect to anyone because I absolutely love living here as do my friends and family when they visit. Let's say, when I arrived, I didn't deem myself as attractive. But over time, I got over the anxiety pills and lost 14 kilograms within two months. I decided to start a game. Follow the red flags. And to this day, many are good, kind-hearted friends and I love them very much. Now, boyfriend number one, he was a taxi driver and I was head over heels with this one, but he was very elusive. Boyfriend number two, he was a car dealer. I loved him very much, but he kept standing me up. I did the stupid thing of letting him have my keys. I regret this decision after one year. He again did not appear. I was so angry and I did the usual stuff of blowing up his phone only to be FaceTimed by a woman hours later. Yes, you know him. Video of passed out boyfriend. Yes, he's my boyfriend. She says, he's mine. You can have him. Sayonara. Heartbroken and in COVID, I moved on and found other activities to do, such as scuba diving, charity, and running. Now on to boyfriend number three. He was 10 years younger than me. He absolutely adored me, took pictures of me, and I was his idol. He just would not go. Even when I said I needed time to myself, he turned up. He even invited himself to holidays in Phuket. So when he disappeared, I was upset. Not because he finished it, it was because he didn't. I was in limbo. Then he said he was seeing a girl visitor from London. I felt relieved. It wasn't me, but he was too scared or something to tell me. I am fine if he's seeing someone else, but for two or three weeks he just ghosted me after all that affection. It just did not make any sense to me. Boyfriend number one met him for a date as suspected he had a wife and kids. Boyfriend number two stood me up on Friday night, usual excuse, family dinner. In between, I have met some lovely guys from the Tinder application, but this is the best one. His name is Golf. I met him through Badu in Patong. 
He came to visit me in my hotel and showed me where his parents and his house was and what happened in the tsunami. Now there is nothing wrong in his story and I found him to be sincere and a very lovely person. I kept up the relationship via text. Then he turned up. We had a delicious meal of duck heads and chicken cartilage. He chose a Nissan restaurant rather than having pizza. Then we went back to the hotel. He slept all weekend and I understood as a boat refurbisher he was tired as he works every day for very little money. So I left him sleeping and I decided to go running only for him to go back to Chalong to declare his father fell out of a tree. Can I spare 20,000 baht? I said no. Three days later, he asked, can I give him 30,000 baht? So I said, I will give you the cost of your holiday to Patia. Then I blocked him. So, I absolutely love being here and every day is an adventure. My life is so fun and I really enjoy and appreciate everything here, even the bad stuff. You see, I know what bar girls say, stay away from certain guys, but I don't want to. I have very limited dating demographics, sex pats, tourists, playboys, locals and gays. So sometimes I get a good guy diving or here on business, but they are never going to last. I have had great fun with all my exes and maybe I will continue to follow the flags, but I would like to meet someone nice and actually get to know them. I realize now that I will continue to hang out with the gays. I love your show, Dan. And I would like to say this as a Western lady, it is not easy out there either. Stay strong and adore being here. We could also be writing about England horror stories. I might even write about a book about my life here. It certainly is very different from the small town I was in and I would not change my life for anything. Kind regards. Naomi. Right guys, bit of a short story there from Naomi. She's been living in Patia for six years. She's uh, played around with a few guys, car dealers, taxi drivers, etc. And then boyfriend number three decided to give her one of the old fashioned stories. Father fell out of a tree. Can you help me out with 500 pounds, 20,000 baht to help with medical expenses, I suppose and just tried to play her for money, which was unfortunate, but it can happen. Unfortunately, I mean, when you're dating within a tourist area, we all know whether you're male or female, unfortunately, people from the West are gonna be looked at as money, especially when, like what she said, he was a boat refurbisher and he didn't make much money with his job. So they presume a lady, single, living over here, interested in a Thai guy, yeah, maybe she can help me out with some money and make my life easier, blah, blah, blah. It is what it is, and that's why you have to be careful dating here in Thailand. But what I really like about Naomi is that she loves being here, and she understands the score. She's trying her best. There's not much option. She's writing what she says. There aren't many options. If you live in a place like Patia, the same for you guys. If you're living there, there aren't that many options. And sometimes you've got to try to, to date someone, I suppose, who might not be the right type of woman to date on paper. But what else can you do? At the end of the day, as long as you keep your money in your pocket and you do what Naomi did, as soon as this guy started asking for money, she just blocked him and got him out of her life. Guys, you need to follow suit. If you're dating a woman and everything's going okay and it's fine and there's no stupid stories about trying to get money out of you, then carry on dating, whether no matter what profession she's in. If she's not trying to use you for your money, enjoy it, be happy. We only live once. I only really try to 
really put it on people like don't date bar girls, don't date freelancers, don't do crazy stuff if you're going to fall for the stories, the scams or whatever you want to call them. As long as you've got your, your head switched on and you've got control of your heart and you know the score, as long as you're not being a fool or a simp, as, we, as people seem to call them, then do whatever you want, live your life and be happy. At the end of the day, you're halfway around the world and if you're living here, yeah, you're gonna wanna meet someone. It's inevitable, you are going to end up meeting someone. Just don't be made a fool out of and you'll be absolutely fine. Let us know what you think about Naomi's story down below in the comments. And guys, if you're single and living in Patia, then maybe put a comment down below asking Naomi if she'd like to go out for dinner if you're around about the same age range or maybe 10 years younger. She does like the younger ones also. Put your comments down below. Right, guys, in regards to my own situation, I don't know if it comes across, but I'm a lot more happier. I'm setting a routine now. I'm not living a crazy life. I'm staying calm, controlled, and just enjoying my time with my son. It's nice to have my son back in my life. At the end of the day, that's why I remain here in Thailand is so I can spend quality time with my son and help raise him. And right now things are good, but guys, I'm not stupid. I know that things can quickly change. So over the next few weeks, couple of months, I'm going to try to make sure that everything is put in place so there's no more issues moving forward and I can have a nice relationship with my son, be in a nice routine and hopefully live happily ever after or at least live a peaceful life moving forward. Guys, hope everybody is safe out there. If you've got your own story and you want to share it, whether it's bad or good, guys, we welcome the good stories. If you've got a good relationship with a Thai woman and it's been working out well and it is not based around money, you don't have some big house and you've not bought her a Ford Ranger, it's something normal, you're a working class guy, you've not done anything crazy, you're living normal, she's working, you're working and life is good then I would love to hear from you. And I'm sure other guys would love to hear from you also so they can have a little bit of hope that there are good Thai women out there and relationships over here are possible where they're not just factored around money. Get your emails sent in to thaitalkwithdan at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy out there. Stay safe. And as always, ciao for now. Bye-bye.